My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And here's my hot take. I like the first Ghostbusters. I don't love it and none of the sequels do anything for me. Like Ghostbusters 2 is just the exact same movie as the original. Ghostbusters 2016, it's the same movie as the original. Ghostbusters Afterlife, it's the same movie as the original. This franchise just has never taken off. It lacks any bit of creativity, but the idea of an ice ghost definitely got my attention. And for the first five minutes, I was like, this might be great. Like I loved the way this movie begun. And then immediately after, it just dips in quality and this movie's an insufferable piece of shit. This is actually the worst of the franchise. But let's begin talking about the cast. McKenna Grace, I think she does a fine job considering her character is as bland and as generic as they come. Uh, Paul Wood plays Paul Wood and he, and he does a fine job at that. Kerry Coon is given nothing to do. Uh, Finn Wolfhard is given nothing to do. Camille Nanjiani is really annoying in this movie. I did not like him at all. Patton Oswalt is in this movie. Uh, Celeste O'Connell I thought was in this movie. Logan Kim is in this movie. Emily Allen Lind, she's in this movie, James Acasto, really bland performance. Bill Murray, he's not even trying. Dan Aykroyd, didn't care for him. Oni Hudson, I actually really liked Oni Hudson's performance. He's just as charming as he was back in the 80s. Just a very likable guy. And then we've got Annie Potts, who's in this movie. So there is so many people in this movie, but no one is given anything to do. Like they're trying to give everyone a story to the point where no one has a story. There is just way too many characters for its own good. Like this movie is as overstuffed as they come. And just none of it is interesting. I don't care about Phoebe's relationship with this ghost girl. I don't care about Finn Wolfhard trying to catch Slimer. I don't care about Paul Wood figuring out if he's a dad or not. I don't care. I, I, I didn't care about anything. It, it, it felt like a bunch of random sitcom plots and just none of it worked. But the worst part about how overstuffed this movie is, is that it takes forever to get going. You know, you watch the teaser trailer and New York is getting frozen and the movie's called Frozen Empire. Yeah, that doesn't happen until like an hour and a half into the movie. And the entire time, you're just waiting for something to happen and it just takes forever. Like, it is just insufferably boring. Like, this movie almost put me to sleep. And when the last act does come into play. It lacks any bit of rate, it's not thrilling, and it just was unsatisfying. So, um, yeah, like, th this movie was just a really difficult watch for me. And the humor falls completely flat. Like, I'm sick and tired of this kind of humor. It has been done to death. I don't know if it's called MCU humor or whatever, but these jokes are embarrassing. So, um, yeah, like, I, I, I'll be honest, I despised this movie. I just, I, I was just sitting there waiting to leave the entire time. Like, it is just way too much going on. All of it sucks. Way too many characters. All of them bland and boring. And it just makes a two-hour-long movie feel like three hours. I, I think this is the worst of the franchise, so I'm giving Ghostbusters Frozen Empire a 1 out of 10. Do not watch this movie, it is so bad, but did you watch it? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below, make sure you like, 
comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos soon, and Gavin.